Hi guys, it's Marky Pussy here and we're back with another song reaction and today we are going to be doing the song Unravel but we're going to be doing it first by, we're going to do the original one by TK who I think is one member of Link to Shide Shiguri. I've put that in there so that you guys know that I know that he's in that band and then after we've done that we're going to do Edo's live version of it because the woman can fucking belt out a tune and everybody was recommending it the last time that I put a Venado video up and I figured I might as well do it but I wanted to see if it was as good as the original and use it as we compare contrast. So you guys get two songs to enjoy tonight, same song. Anyway, let's go in, we're gonna see and then at the end we'll see how emo they are. <laughs> Straight away that sounds fucking beautiful. He's obviously singing really really close to the mic because you're picking up all of his like, all of his breath and his intakes and stuff which is lovely and like when he was singing a cappello, that was a cappello, a cappella, that was lovely and then the production when all of that came in, particularly the little bit of percussion at the back was just Mm. Oh, there's so much going on. That was some fantastic fucking guitar work. But it just keeps on going like, doo -doo 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 -doo, in and out all over the place. Oh, that's mental. Also, right, he's singing so close to the fucking mic that he's obviously singing really quietly, but really, really high. And I think Edo is probably going to go the opposite route where she's going to belt it further back from the mic because she's got the power in her voice to be able to do that which is going to make for an interesting dynamic and I don't know if that's right or not but I'm going to make that assumption right now but we'll see. The most particularly impressive thing about this at the moment is the production because everything sounds fucking glorious. <laughs> The high notes were fucking fantastic. Oh, and also, just a really catchy chorus. It's, it's a fine tightrope to walk between having, having the verses as complicated as they are, because musically that is all over the fucking shop, and then reining that right the fuck back in when you get to your chorus so that you've got a really catchy melody in there to kind of keep the hook going. Because if your chorus was as insanely, like, I don't know, dynamically crazy as the verses, it'd be too much. You'd be completely fucking lost. The guy knows exactly when to rein it in, exactly when to go crazy, and yeah, this is this is this is an absolute banger already. <laughs>
this is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> this is fucking fantastic. There's not even that much I can really say about it. It is just absolute banger. <laughs> Every single aspect of this song is on point. The singing, phenomenal. The musicianship, just across the board. The creativity is off the fucking charts and it's catchy as shit every single bit like it never it never doddles at any point it's just constantly moving and shifting and being interesting it's just cool <laughs> That's dynamite. That's oh, I love this song with a passion. <sighs> it's just dynamite. The chorus is absolutely fucking fantastic. The singing is nuts. I don't know how Ado's doing this. To be honest, I mean, I don't know. How, I don't know how she's gonna do it. She's gonna sing it, but I don't know if Ado's doing a better version of this than than this. This is absolutely fucking great. Go. <laughs> You know the only thing that I would have changed about that, right? The wee pause when he when he sings himself right at the end, beautiful. And then I'd have dragged that last bit out just a little. I'd have dragged it out maybe for four, just so that you get a nice outro. That's the only change I'd make to that song because that was kind of fantastic, kind of fantastic. But the real question is, how emo was that song? Twinkly guitars. It had loads of twinkly guitars. The guitars were twinkly as fuck. So it's about here, twinkly guitars. But then the overwrought singing. Mm. It's right up there. It's, got, it's a bit as high, it's, it's a bit as emo as, as emo gets. <laughs> you don't get much more emo than that song. That was nuts. That was absolutely fucking bang on. Stunning. Okay, that was TK with his version of Unravel. I'm saying his version, it's the original version. Now, we're going to listen to Edo's version of it live, and I'm kind of wondering if she's going to have changed the instrumentation in any way to suit her voice, or how she's going to go and change the song in general to make it her own, or if she's just going to sing along to pretty much an exact rendition of that version that we just heard. I'm, I'm interested to see what she does with it. So, without much fucking about, let's just go in and do it. Firstly, her voice is like absolute fucking silk. When she hits the really high note and her voice breaks slightly, beautiful. She she goes up to a really high note and her voice kind of breaks in the middle of it. It's just, just a little bit and it's just... Mm. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> yes! Oh, that was fucking beautiful. So, the production on this clearly is not going to be as crisp or as clear as the studio version because it's the fucking studio version. So, it's a bit more bass heavy. It's Some bits of it don't come through quite as well as it did in the previous version of the song that we heard. I'm not going to judge it on that because it's the live version. You're never going to get it to sound as crystal clear. This one is all about her singing and her ability to do this song, right? And on that, Oh, the way she came in there was fucking amazing. And the thing is, she's got the really, really kind of breathy, whispery, high vocals. Bang on. Her, her voice suits it perfectly. But when she comes in with that fucking power and the growl, that's absolutely f electric. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say something controversial and everybody's going to get absolutely fucking furious at me and I don't care. Ero's a better rock singer than Psyche. She just is. She's got that growl to her voice that is just... Absolutely fucking astonishing. She's like the Japanese Bjork. Just in terms of absolute fucking powerhouse singing. And the thing is, right, and I know I just made that comparison and that's maybe going to upset some bandmaid fans and stuff, but at the same time, right, here's my here's my, my thinking with that, right? Psyche's fucking phenomenal at singing, right? And her voice suits bandmaid perfectly. I'm just saying that in terms of like, female rock singers, just in general, in the world at this point, on a sheer technical level, for a rock singer, she, she's, she's in like, she's in like the top five, Edo, and I can't, and I, I'm saying top five, because I actually can't think of anybody who I think's better, except for possibly early Bjork, like, pre-vocal surgery Bjork. Fucking hell, man! Some of the things that she's that she's doing with that voice right now is insane. <laughs> Okay, no, no, the thing is, right, is that the bass line, right, I can't even concentrate on the fucking music. The bass line's great, right, but I'm only picked up on that after after you guys in the chat have typed how good is that bass line, by the way, because her voice is just dominating fucking everything. Good lord, that scream was astonishing. I'm going back again, I need to hear that. <laughs> See when I'm talking about screaming and music and how I don't mind some screaming and stuff, but I hate like the growling and stuff. That's exactly the kind of screaming that I'm talking about. That is fucking incredible. And it has a passion to it and an emotion. It gets you right in the feels. The other type of screaming is just nah. It's boring and it's monotonous, but this is oh like that I'm going back for that again. That was fucking stunning. <laughs> No, don't get out! 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 No,
That's <laughs> that's possibly the best vocal performance I've ever fucking heard for somebody. That's the constant, the constant screaming into singing is so fucking difficult to do. And the thing is, right, you just won't see this because you just can't see the chat. But the chat are, cur- are currently saying about how she must be fucking up her vocal cords. No, you, it is actually quite possible to scream like that without fucking up your vocal cords. I know, I've done it, but never like that. Never like that. That's astonishing. And nobody comes fucking close. Nobody's coming close to that. That was fucking nuts. <laughs> That's, that's, that's crazy, <laughs> that was, that was, what do you even say to that, <laughs> that, that band was absolutely playing its fucking heart out. And what is a very complicated song? There's a lot of different dynamic shifts happening in it. What every individual part is really complicated. And I I paid that band absolutely zero attention that entire song. And they were flawless. But that was the that was the single most mesmerizing vocal performance I have ever fucking seen. Not only on this channel, but in my life. And the first version was amazing, right? The first version was amazing. And I thought, there's no way she's topping this. Holy fuck. That was crazy. Where does it land on the emo scale? 
Easy. Easy. It's, it's up here. It's actually so far up that it's went off the screen and I'll bring it down slightly so that you can see it, but it's actually further up than that. I've only put it up there so that you guys can still see that it does exist, but it's so emo. It's so, it's so emo that every other emo band is looking at it going, how did you get up there? What's happening? You alright up there? You feeling, you feeling alright? Aye. That's how emo it is. No, not that this is in any way a competition, but what, 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 what version of that song did you guys prefer? And if you pick the TK version, why? <laughs> why? I mean, the TK version is great. It's great, but holy fuck. <laughs> That's just, that was so nuts. Okay, that was TK and Edo with the song Unravel. I've been Mark Abusi. I'm going now because I need to fucking calm myself. <laughs> I need a minute. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.